I'm gonna be going over a strategy as well as some tips and tricks that you guys can use to help rank up in the season past or the season, whatever you wanna call it, basically your season rank. So this is gonna be a strategy that's gonna help you get through it as quick as possible. Now it's pretty simple. Um, I think at this point everybody knows that Battle Royale Solo is gonna be the number one game mode in order to rank up as fast as possible. Um, because number one, you don't have to place first in order to get trophies. Where if you can't play a game mode like Superstar or um, Tower or the, the any of the team modes, if your team loses, you lose and you lose those 24 to 25 trophies for the season. So. Uh, no, so we're going to definitely be jumping into Battle Royale Solo. Now, keep in mind, they do make it to where the game modes change. Like, I think it's every hour, every couple hours. Um, so you won't be able to play Battle Royale Solo all the time. But if it's available, it's what you want to do in order to rank up as quick as possible. So first things first, choose a hero you're comfortable with. Um, at, it doesn't really matter. You're going to want something that's going to be able to take a lot of damage or do a lot of damage. Uh, just whatever you like playing. So for me, I like playing Big Papa, um, Vinkin, Vinka, however you want to call it, it's good too because it's got a lot of health. Now, the other thing you want to do is make sure your skills are something that you can either attack and do a lot of damage quickly or that you can um, run away and just try and survive as long as possible because that's mainly what we're going for. So you might want to do something like the shield um, or the black hole so that way it slows people down or makes you survive a little bit longer. They used to have one called Burrow. Um, I, I don't think it's available with this hero, uh, so it just kind of depends on um, those skills differ. So with this guy, I like to do a lot of damage and get out of it. So I think I'm going to change the Meteor Slam to uh, the Shield, just so that way I can last a little bit longer. Um, and then from this one, I'm going to change it to the Black Hole, so it slows them down a little bit. So that's what we're going to go with. We're going to try and play extremely passive, as well as surviving as long as possible. All right, so keep in, keep in mind what you're seeing, like where these little, uh, I don't know what you want to call them, these gifts. Um, these are going to be where all your power-ups are. So number one is you're going to want to try and destroy as many of these as you can, um, mainly to get your uh, the skills so you can get your other abilities unlocked. That's the biggest thing. So bam, we got both of them unlocked. Now we can kind of chill out a little bit. We're going to go ahead and finish this one off. Perfect. And, okay, so... This grass right here is gonna hide you, right? They'll still be able to see you doing this damage, but they won't be able to see exactly where you're at. So definitely use that to your advantage. So we're gonna kind of just move through here. Um, you can see that the zone, it's got 11 seconds when it's shrinking. Um, it's not around us, so that's good. I usually like to try and stay by the edge if I've spawned at the edge. So like, here's a guy here, he can't see me, he doesn't know I'm over here. I'm just gonna kind of literally avoid him, give him a little love tap. Let them know I'm over here somewhere. Now, the other thing too is that the same, way, the same way that you hide in the grass is the same way other people are gonna do it. So when you're moving along the map, you're gonna want them to shoot this grass every now and then to reveal any players that may be hiding. So although it may be boring, um, we aren't going for kills. We're gonna finish this guy right here. Okay, so definitely take advantage when the opportunity presents itself. Um, anyways, besides that, we're definitely going to be playing passive, although we've been a little aggressive on this one. Passive is the name of the game because we just want to get below. We want to be in the top six. Top six, you're going to get trophies. Seven and above, you're not. So we're, if you look up at the top right, we're at nine. We want to get at least at six. Um, now, although, like I said, it's going to be boring playing this way, we don't care. We're not here to have fun right now. I mean, although I still have a great time. Uh, our main focus is surviving as long as possible. Um, and so that means hiding. That means playing extremely passive. That means hiding. Um, you're just basically going to want to survive as long as possible. Once the once it starts getting, you know, we're at seven now. Once we get at six, um, I'll, you can play a little bit more aggressive. Uh, but right now, like I said, we just want to get that down so we don't lose trophies. Okay, number one is we don't want to keep going down in our trophies. I don't know if you're like me, but you've been in the past where when you're playing those team modes, and you lose two or three rounds at a time, I mean, you're talking minus 60 plus trophies for doing that. Um, so right here, you know, the other thing is too, when people are weak, you're gonna wanna take them out because the less people, that means that you are a higher chance of winning. See, I'm gonna get more trophies now just because of that. We're gonna get them, exactly, look at that. All of them are fighting now. We're gonna let them keep fighting. Looks like it's just he and I, Big Papa and me. We're gonna use the shield here, take advantage of that while he's using that. BAM! 
Damn! Oh. Look at that. So, although we weren't very passive on this round, um, it kind of gives you an idea how quickly tables can turn, or how quickly the tables can turn. So, this isn't one of the heroes where I make any coins. This is just me trying to rank up um, in the season pass. So, that's definitely the fastest one um, to do that is going to be the battle rail solo. Um, just literally sit there and play passive and take advantage when people are weak and bring them down. So, um, like I said, the skills I like to use are definitely going to be black hole because it sucks people back if they're trying to come at you. And then the shields is going to give you those extra few seconds. So hopefully you guys found value in this video today. I just want to make this quick little tips and tricks. There's going to be more coming, but I wanted to get this out there. Play battle. If you want to rank up in the season, play battle royale solo, play battle royale duo if you can. Um, and try and get in the top six so that way you're constantly going up on your trophies and not going down because even if you go up 11 or 5 trophies, whatever it is, it's still better than going down. So definitely, definitely do that. So if you guys found any value out of today's video, please smash that oh like button. Friend. And if you enjoyed this video, you're definitely going to like that one. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you on the next one.